Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play Return to Krondor. We've uncovered quite a lot of goodies from the basement of the Bitten Dog Tavern and one of the items we found was this document. The Nighthawk's Jorath document. That's a beautiful title. Um, someone named O from Jorath. All right, so Jorath is going to meet the Nighthawks to discuss some kind of a deal that he's made with them. And apparently the Guildmaster of the Shipwreckers Guild had some, inform had some information that Jorath wanted some sort of secret. Uh, and the Nighthawks Jorath. And the Nighthawk requested help from someone named C, who sent in the mage that created the demon. And, oh, maybe this is from the Crawler. All right, so the Crawler says, hey Nighthawks, give me that spell. Whatever the Guildsman offers, that's Jorath. All right, yet another letter. Uh, Pete, wait outside, Master's window. Right, right. So this is the original contract, I suppose. And they didn't want the Guildmaster to die. That sort of alerted everyone to the plot. That was not the idea. So, it didn't work out for them, though. Um, it did not work out for them at all. Oh, and, and so Jazara's got all these goodies now. Like this. And, uh, I don't know. A couple of potions we couldn't identify. A lot of potions we could identify. Heaps of rings that don't do anything. And there's a couple in there that are actually... What is this? Huh. Interesting. I've got to look that one up. Mage's ring. It could be really worthwhile. This is just a valuable ring. It doesn't do anything. It's not magical. I don't know what this does. Hand of Death spells. I don't know what that is. Couple of the secret mage books. All right, so and a lot of scrolls that we picked up in the basement here. Great. And we'll walk through here. Do -do 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 do. How can I? Aha! Another room. I don't recognize this room. I don't know. If, I don't know if I've been in here before. It's remarkable. I love it. There doesn't seem to be anything in here, though. It's just the supply room for the for the tavern. And this is the room that actually goes back outside. Oh gosh, what happened? They they fought the Nighthawks and picked them clean. <sighs> we received reports of strange sounds coming from this place. Unlucky Pate got away. Uh... 
collect the bodies and burn them. What this guy's talking about is um, last time in Betrayal at Crondor, what the Nighthawks did was you could kill them, and if you didn't win the battle really quickly, they'd just rise from the dead. And they'd become a Black Slayer, really hard to kill, and just all around nasty. So this guy's saying burn the bodies so that they don't come back to life, essentially. All right, well, and the guys over here, the dock workers, are not having drinks anymore. It's their problem. And these guardsmen are just standing around. Yeah, I don't know really, really know what I'd do in a situation like that. Just let's talk about what just happened. Hey, buddy, I didn't find your purse, but I did find your bro. The dirty dogs got my purse and stole my bro. Your bro is in there. Go get it. You like it. Oh my gosh, we've got a lot of goodies. Uh, I can't really carry anything, anything at all. Um, I'm gonna stop right here and I will come back after I've sold a bunch of stuff. All right, be right back. Now that that's all taken care of, we'll continue on with our journey. Um, so one of the one of the greatest items that we found at the bottom of the Bitten Dog Tavern was this ring right here, which you know doesn't sound all that better than than the other ring right here um, that we also found in there. It is much better. I looked up the statistics, and this ring is actually, it actually has the effect of two of these Rings of the Apprentice. The Ring of the Apprentice reduces the spell casting cost by 25%, and this one ring alone reduces the cost by 50%. And it also has other very beneficial effects for Jezhara's magic. We could even wear these two together, and this all this one does is what it says. It prevents Jezhara from ever screwing up a storm's spell. And uh, let's jump into the shop here while we're here. So there it is right there, 22,000 for this one ring. That's the value. He's not actually going to pay that. He'll pay 5,900 for that ring. Wouldn't sell it, though. We'll get rid of this shell of Yordas because, frankly, I have no idea what to do with it. I mean, it's a nice ring. I mean, it's a nice shell. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know what to do with it. I don't want it, and I'm not going to carry it around all the all the time. Sold a lot of things. This bone here, I think we might have looked at this earlier. It, I don't know what that is. So we'll just try it out, I guess. And uh, just hers, you know, gradually building up the alchemical ingredients. I didn't see any good recipes. I'd like the strong healing recipe, and I'd like the strong fire oil recipe, but I don't see them anywhere, so I guess we'll just keep looking in those rooms, and well, if we find them, we find them, and if we don't, then I'll just uh, go into the uh, experimentation. Hopefully it won't come to that. Let's run over here to the prince and tell him all about the demon, and, and oh, I saw a demon, and I saw this uh, these nighthawks, and... And there was a there was a mage. You believe me, don't you? I haven't been drinking. I assume you found something interesting. It looks like the guildmaster's murder was a setup. But with the supposed killer missing, we are still lacking crucial information. Have you any suspicions about who the real killer might be? We've spoken to the new journeyman in charge of the guild, and his story just doesn't ring true. Perhaps he could provide a clue to finding the missing man. Now that's our next line of attack. Very good. Stay on this and hurry. We don't have much time. Is that all you ever say? Time is of the essence. Remember, time is of the essence. 
Ah, uh, that's fine. So, Arutha says we should go back to talk to Jorath and find out. Hopefully, talking to Jorath will reveal something about where Kandarik is. And Kandarik is, I don't know, I guess he's he was framed and he's going to help us raise that stupid ship. Oh my gosh, it's a sailor and two Keshians. Watch out. Um, I'm nervous about this, so I'm going to do this. And just, Hara, you can cast, I don't know, cast something. Actually, don't cast anything. You've got so much inventory, you should use it. How about, how about one of these? There we go. Keshi. And so the ship that has to be raised contains this artifact that that magical chainmail shirt contains this artifact that Bear was after. Remember Bear? From don't fall off the screen. Remember Bear from earlier in this game? Bear who? What's going on? And maybe, oh, I don't know, uh, Firelands. Let's try that. Nice one, Jazara. I liked that. I like that very much. I like it when you do things correctly. And let's see if I can... Oh, I probably don't have time for it. Probably don't have time to to loot all these guys and get to the chest there. I don't know. See how fast I can pick up every little item off of these guys and drag it over to these tiny little icons over here. Maybe. Maybe I have time. I don't really have a good timer, so I kind of guess. Open this chest, serpent wire or dagger wire? No, this is a new one, it's the venom wire. And I think we want the lever for the nozzles. Correct. And we want the ratchet for the poison tanks, that one is easy. And for the trip wire, we want the lever again? Yeah, these are so... These tools are so versatile. I'm just about out of time here. And all sorts of goodies, including this magical dagger, which I will assess. And so uh, we'll look at that next time, and we'll find out what we got, and we'll continue sweeping through the city. Eventually, we'll go to sleep again so that we can confront Jorath in the daytime and find out what we're doing here. See you then! <laughs>